Hello everyone! It is Sunday in Bay City at A Piece of You and we are getting ready for our first of 2020 Facebook Live. 2022! Okay, I'm really completely off. Marilyn's here to help me out tonight. She's been wandering around with my little Chi Chi card all over the night and I don't even know what year it is. Okay. I must have had too much sugar or something. And um, someone just sent me a text message. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you and Lori and Ginny. I saw Linda come on. I saw Ruth come on. Deb's on. Everybody's coming on real quick. It must be freezing cold. Yes. Hi, Judy. Hi, Carol. Hi, Tammy. One thing while we're waiting for everybody to come on, well, we're gonna give them a few minutes. Um, we are going to start in February. February 1st, we're gonna start being open late on Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights. So February 1st, we are gonna be open from 10 a.m. to 7.30, okay? That's a new change. I just want to kind of keep it reiterating to everybody. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deb. Who else is on? I just saw Karen is on. And Sherry's on. Serena's on. Bonnie's on. And Marilyn's here helping me. Angie's doing tech support. So what we're going to do is just a reminder don't comment you want something until we get there. Hi, Dora. Hi, Amanda. Um, and all you have to do if you want a sweater is tell us the color number, the color number. And then when um, Joyce calls you tomorrow, you guys can figure out what size and all that good stuff. Okay. And I know, Linda, isn't it a good idea? Hi, Jody. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Betty. You want it all perfect, Ginny. We're happy to help you out with that one. Okay, we're all done. We're just going to send it all to Ginny. I'm just teasing. All right, let's get going. We have a ton of people on tonight, and hopefully I make sense. Okay, I had a, probably a little too much sugar today on my day off. So let me turn this around. And we will get started. We are starting first with the, you're just going to write cowl, okay? Hi, Beth. Um, you're just going to write cowl. This is a beautiful cowl using LRA Rustic Erin. And there is no chart, as you can see. It comes with a pattern. And you do need a cable needle, let us know. 1015. And 1010. And Marilyn's out of practice. It's okay. <laughs> so, um, perfect. Everybody's doing a great job. Hi, Pat. Good to see you. Hi, Leslie, Deb, Sue. Good to see you guys. So, what I have on the table is how many kits I have, okay? Each one of these kits contains two skeins, so we'll match it up with its mate and a pattern. Um, hi, Beth. Good to see you. 1020. This um, yarn is organic. It's certified organic. Isn't that fun? And it is lamb's wool and silk. It is beautiful. And Linda says, catch Marilyn. She's standing too close to me. I can't even throw them. <laughs> uh, she's learning. She's learning. These kits are $32.50, and they're a great deal. This yarn is really nice and soft and everything when you knit it. I think it's going to show the pattern really, really well, and it's going to hold up nicely. Um, it is not scratchy at all. Um, very soft, and we are staying warm, Susan. Hi, Donna. Good yes, to see you. Oh, Marilyn says it passes the neck test. So, all right. So, I have color 1000. So, you're just going to type in cowl and 1000. And it's this creamy white. 
1001 is this charcoal color and you can see the silk in it is that little bit of fleck in there that's what kind of gives it a pseudo tweediness um 1002 is a medium gray and it's right next to 1003 which is a slightly lighter gray we have 1005 which is a tan and don't worry oh finally you know Every time we come on, the heat comes on or the air conditioning comes on. And I have to shout really loud. Um, this yarn is really nice. Joyce has been knitting a church mouse sweater out of it. And it's really pretty. Um, this one is 1010. And it is, see, it's a little bit turquoisey. It's really pretty. But see that silk in there? Isn't that pretty? That's what those little white dots are. Very pretty. It would be a hand wash, lay flat to dry, even though it says you can wash it in the machine. I probably wouldn't. It is a worsted weight. Um, you are going to use a size 9 circular needle. I have 1012. I have 1013. 1015 is no longer here. And I have 1020. 1010, please. All right. So those are my colors. And don't worry, we'll come back to this. And guess what? As always, I added something to the table today. So 1012, 1010, they're going fast. Going quick. 13 is gone too. All right. All right. Yeah, we got it. Don't worry, Jennifer. We, we figured you out. So how many of 10, 12 do I have left? I have three. And these are 208, 208 yards per skein. Nancy, would you like 10, 12? I have to ask you before I give it to Cindy Malou. If you don't want it, then Cindy will get it. 10, 02, please. Do, 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 do. She wants both. Okay. Okay, so I can give one of the 1012s to uh, Cindy Malou. Got it. Yeah, that kind of happens sometimes. Um, I do have, just so you know, Nancy, I have a beautiful purple in a LRA blue face, a Juniper Moon blue face Leicester that you might want to look at because it's really nice. And it's uh, really pretty purple. Okay, so, and I'm using it for a sweater right now and I'm loving it. So, um, after the live, you might want to look on our website and check that out. No, she wanted more than three. Yeah, that's why. All right, so we have 1020, we have 1012, we have 1010. We have some 1005s, we have 1003s, some 1002s, 1001, and 1000. Nobody's going for the neutrals today. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. The other purple is Juniper Moon Blue Face Leicester. It's really, really pretty. Hi, Deb, how are you? Um, and it is a worsted to Aran weight yarn, the one, the blue face leister. So if you're specifically looking for purple, that would work. And we're happy to ship it to you. Okay, so these are our colors. These kits are the cowl. It is a cabled cowl. There is no chart. It is words. And it comes with a pattern. And two skeins makes a kit for $32.50. These are my colors that I have. Don't worry, we will come back to these at the end of our show. Very pretty. And I know what everybody is waiting for, so we might as well just go to it. We are doing... The Marmor, M-A-R-M-O-R. -M I have no idea if I'm mispronouncing it or not. Most people will finish their right-hand sleeve. Joyce didn't quite get it done quite yet. 1314 for Serena. Um, it does have a fake seam in the back, and it has a fake seam on both sides. 1317. 
for Linda. It's very pretty. It is knit top down. This one is Midnight Sea. Um, we, if you do live in town, we will be having some uh, times when you can come and get some help if you need it. Okay, and it's like the Mondays that we don't have a Facebook Live, but Joyce and I forgot to write down what time, so that is why I am not promoting it just yet. But there'll be something out there for you guys. So you are going to get a thumbs up or a heart or something next to your um, next to your comment, and then you'll know that we um, um, got your comment. Okay. Hi, Carol. I know I haven't gotten there yet. Um, so this is the sweater. I just want to show it to you. It has a little bit of ribbing down here at the bottom. It has a little bit of ribbing at the cuff. And it has a nice I-cord edge. And remember we have Ruth Austin wanted $13.19, not $13.07. Got it. I don't know if you're there yet, but... Ah, that works out well. What we're doing is we're giving you, if you buy your kit, um, 1319. Oh, I must have missed it. There is one. Yeah. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Robbie. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, I gave you in our sneak peek preview a little, um, finished measurements and how many skeins and if you buy your kit during our Facebook live or when we call you tomorrow then um you'll get a nice discounted price okay the pattern is available on Ravelry I believe it is seven dollars I believe hi Emma good to see you um, so what colors does it come in? It comes in 1300, which is cast iron. You just have to put in the number. 1301 is storm cloud. I'm only saying the numbers because some people are familiar with the names. 1302 is gravel road. You just have to put in the number, and when Joyce calls you tomorrow, she will. T fig you guys will figure out what size and how many skeins. Uh, 1304 is Gray Harbor. It's a light gray. 1305 is October Sky, one of the most popular colors of wool stock. Wool stock is 100% Highland wool, and it's wonderful. This sweater was supposed to be made with bulky. Someone had made it with wool stock, so we tried it. We love it. It is lightweight, but yet gives you a little bit of, um, um, warmth. Marilyn's over here giving me words. <laughs> giving me a little bit. Um, the one thing Joyce told me is to tell everyone, do not question the pattern. The pattern is correct. Just do what the pattern tells you to do. It is a top down. It's a little different at the top and your sleeves are not a raglan sleeve. It's kind of a set in sleeve, but um, it's all done in garter stitch. It's really cool. Hi, Joy. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. I think this is a great sweater. We love this weight of yarn. 1306 is Wild Time. 1307 is Pressed Grapes. I tried to get to this, but I don't have the skills. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, 1308 is Golden Meadow. I only had a little tiny skein because we're out of that. What we're going to be doing is if we have the yarn in stock, we will ship it to you. If we don't, I'm making a big order to, on Tuesday. Unfortunately, I have a funeral to go to tomorrow, so I'll be ordering on Tuesday. And um, that way we can make sure we get you guys um, the best amount. Earth Ivy is $13.09. Oh, $13.10 is Cranberry Compote. 1311 is Rusted Roof. It's a pretty, pretty um, deep orange. Uh, let's see. These two are mating. 
1312 is driftwood and it's a really pretty tan color 1313 is deep chocolate dark chocolate and it looks like dark chocolate and 1314 is deep velvet 1315 is red rock and it is a true red i always like to tell that to people because they want to know if it's orangey red or pinky red or whatever but this one is a real a true red 1316 is spun gold very pretty 1317 is midnight sea and that is what our sweater sample is made out of 1318 is thermal spring which is a light blue 1319 is quartz crystal and 1320 is spring ice it's a little darker than this these are the brand new colors from um, blue sky they brought these out last year uh, 1321 is loon lake i love that one 1322 is northern lights 1323 is ember glow 1324 is morning frost I can read upside down. And 1326 is mossy green. That was the color of our sample for the Pemberton pullover if you did that one last year. Okay, so those are our colors. There are two colors that are missing and they are out of stock at Blue Sky, so I did not bring them up. This is a relatively easy sweater. And like I said, if you do what the pattern tells you to do and you get gauge before you start so you know what needle to use, you will do very well. Um, Joyce is really, really enjoying it. It does have the I-cord edge, which is fantastic. You don't have to have buttons or anything like that. Um, now, we, you do want to get gauge because she went down from a, they wanted you to use an 8 and a 10 and she's using a 6 and an 8. Okay, so that is kind of why you want to get your gauge before you start a sweater. You usually always want to do that before you start a sweater. And anyone who's, who orders a sweater is going to get a fabulous a piece of you tape measure so you can measure how far you've gone for each of the pieces. Um, and that is to say thank you for waiting for your yarn it should be here by the end of the week so they're in minnesota so it's a really quick um and i called them on friday and they are fully stocked except for the two colors you do not see on the table so um that is the scoop so those are roughly the sweater is going to be somewhere between 88 dollars and 123 for most of us and that is not a bad price for a sweater can I see 13, 14 up close? You can, but let me take it off the table. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of a heathery color. It's kind of like a Merlot, you know, in a bottle of wine. That is the color. It actually looks better here when I don't go quite as up close. That is the color of 13, 14. It's beautiful. It's really, really nice. We like uh, Blue Sky wool stock. We've carried it for several years, and we really, really enjoy it. Um, so, one thing I did ask, 1306, hang on, let me get over to 1306. 1306 is one of my favorite colors. This is Wild Time, and I actually have a cowl made out of it. So that is Wild Time. Wild time. It's kind of a heathery color. Very pretty. That is 1306. That one is 1306. And yeah, these they do have a really pretty selection of colors also. Um, no problem, Jennifer. No problem. Just let us know if you need that. Okay. Now what I am adding, because Susan read her email wrong. Yes, you can, Serena. 
it's going to be shipped to the store and then we're going to ship it out. So we will let you know when it is here. So it should be here by the end. I'm thinking by the end of the week. If this, you know, if the shipping gods are with us. Um, so, and because I have to order, I am going to um, order some brand new things. Um, the wool stock bundles, as we're all very familiar with, I just finished my Black Mountain cow, uh, hat, and they are bringing out two brand new bundles, Bramble and Fig and Fire and Ice, and this is how they knit up. I just checked the patterns. The patterns are not available yet. This would be Fire and Ice. This would be Bramble and Fig. These are $37.50. Let me know if you need any of these. I am all out of right now the warm. This one is warm. This one is cool. This one is neutral. I know they're not very interesting. Uh, this one is holiday cheer. I only have a few of these left and we won't be able to get either one of these until next October. So I have a few of holiday cheer. I have more of holiday frost. And then I'm going to bring in Bramble and Fig and Fire and Ice. And you guys would be the first ones to get it if you order those now. So you just have to put Bundle and the name. So, yep, just like Leslie did. Bramble and Fig, perfect. I'm assuming you just want one. This one is Fire and Ice. So what they're doing is they're using some of the brand new colors and making them into a um, bundle and I think it is beautiful um, as soon as we can get the patterns we will let you know that also and Sherry wants bramble and fig so I have holiday frost holiday cheer I have neutral I have warm and I have cool Oh, sorry, warm and cool and neutral. Warm we haven't had in in a while. So um, the cowl is bramble and fig. That is how it knit up. You could do it in any of the, the pattern. Any of the bundles would look great in that cowl. But I did just check on the Blue Sky Fibers website and on Ravelry, and it is not on either one yet. So I'm not sure when it goes on, but I think even the hat is cute. Holiday Frost, perfect. These are uh, these bundles are $37.50. We're trying to get everything in before the price increases. They're going to be doing some price increases, and we're trying to uh, have you guys take advantage of these. So this is a brand new add to our order. And to our Facebook Live, I apologize. I misread. I thought we couldn't do anything until February 1st. So uh, I have warm. I have cool. I have neutral. I have holiday cheer. I have holiday frost. I have bramble and fig. And I have fire and ice. Did you get Michelle Kelly? Okay. Give her a thumbs up. Yeah, I just had her. Oh, got it. Got it. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. Tech support loves it when I bug them. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Okay. And I think these are great. I love these little bundles. They're fun. And, you know, if you don't use all of them... You can use them into something else. The Alpine hat is a great use for them. Um, I always use them if I need to do a swatch. You know, if you need to do a swatch for something, use these if you're going to use wool stock. Um, each one of those little skeins is 12 yards. And um, so there's 21 little mini skeins in each one of those for $37.50. Okay, so if you're watching the replay, you can also tell me what color um, sweater you would like, 
and we're happy to take care of that for you. Okay? All right. We are going to move on to our Age of Brass and Steam Kerchief. And this one is a DK weight. And this one is really pretty. It's $34 for, for the kit. And see how I'm pulling this down so you can kind of see. It's easier to see in person. Um, there's little eyelet rows in this, and it's really pretty. Um, and these are great. And I love this yarn. I found this at a Fiber Festival, and I loved her colors. They are so pretty. One skein makes the kerchief. Um, Marilyn did have probably enough to do one more row at the end. Probably one more row. You might be doing yarn chicken. I'm not sure. But um, she didn't want to do it because she didn't like I to do it. I think did it exactly like the pattern. Yeah, she did it exactly like the pattern. It's a great one to just dress up an outfit or something like that. And so we have color one. I love this one. Now, the names are really long and hard to spell and all that kind of stuff. So we just gave them numbers. These are $34. And I have color one. I have color two. I have color three. I love color three. I have color four. I have color five. I think this one's really pretty. And I kind of put it between the gray and this teal next to it because it really looked nice with it. This one is six. This one is actually swim with the fishes. Um, this one is seven. Seven is my favorite. And are we locked up? Somebody give me a thumbs up or heart or something so I know that we're not locked up. Okay, now I got one. Oh, oh, for some reason. Joy, I will scan the sweater colors one more time at the very end. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Okay, we need a three gone. Three, seven, seven and a nine. Yeah, tech support's so excited. She's ahead of me. Seven. I'm throwing them at Marilyn. How many sevens do you have left? One? Um, yeah, um, left we got the last one. Okay, seven's gone. I just had to throw something, so. <laughs> she, um, yeah, my, my phone was stuck, so. Um, I do have eight, which I think is beautiful. It's very similar to the one that Marilyn made. Um, I have 10, you can't even say party in a ball with 10. Um, 11 is actually called The Floor is Lava. How fun is that? That one is 11. Give me an 8. Um, and another 8. 12, I think 12 is going to be beautiful. I can't wait to see that one knit up. I almost chose that one. 13. And I have a feeling somebody didn't get an eight. Did Jennifer? Okay, Jennifer, you got an eight. Okay, 13 is a light gray, very pretty. It's a tonal. All of the solids are kind of tonal. 14. Oh, that's the one in my hand. Uh, 14. I just had to do one over the shoulder so that it really confused Marilyn. So <laughs> I haven't caught one yet. She has, she's sa telling me she hasn't caught one yet. I can't tell from behind me. So, all right, we're going to go through the colors one more time. I have color one and I think you guys are missing out because I think this one is beautiful. Think springtime, think springtime. And you're going to want to be wearing that one. Color two is beautiful also. This is a DK weight. It's 231 yards. It is a superwash merino. I'd probably hand wash it anyways. It's um, not real wooly. It's yeah. really soft and squishy. Um, this one is four, and it is a dark gray tonal, but I think it would still show up. Um, number five 
is this really pretty one if you are a if you like the Detroit Lions this would work um Oh, yes, they did. tech support just told me they won today. Well, wonders never cease. Um, this one is six, and it's kind of a teal. My arms aren't long enough. It's, um, and this one is ten. We have eleven. We have twelve. I'm surprised twelve hasn't gone, because that one is really cool. I can't wait to see how that one knits up. It's going to be so cool. These are not stripey. They are variegated. Hi, Cheryl. This one is 13, and this one is 14. I think this one's cool, too. How fun is that? And this is a really easy pattern. It uses a size 8, you know, 24 if you like to squish, 32 if you want to lay it flat. Pretty easy pattern. You know, sometimes we need those easy patterns. So um, these are our colors. Very fun. And I really like this yarn. And it is a U.S. made yarn. It's made in Wisconsin where they dye it. And the ladies who do this are really kind of cool too. So um, we've never had this yarn in before. So it's kind of cool. Okay, you can always tell me in the replay that you would like this. We suggested the Age of Brass and Steam. Um, you can do something else. You can buy two skeins and make something bigger. Um, that would be fine too. So it's 231 yards. Okay. Probably just keep going on that one. Yeah, or just keep going on that one. Good, Cheryl. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So oh, you're going to have to <laughs> send us a picture. Oh, Susan's going to try it too. And if I get my aim a little bit better, I'm almost in the bucket, just not quite. No, I'll trip on it, and then uh, that'll be a bad move. So um, I think these colors are just so pretty. And, you know, I don't... Uh, number seven. Ginny, we did not see you with a number seven. Oh, we got you down, Ginny, for a seven. We just didn't give you a thumbs up. Fourteen. Ooh, Marilyn caught that one. She's so excited. <laughs> so um, these guys are so much fun. I love this yarn. If you guys like it, we'll bring in more. Um, I just wanted to, you know, I just brought in some colors just so we could see if we liked it. I'd never used them before, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. So, and in our new room, it was kind of hidden so people couldn't see it. So, um, I have 14, I have 13. And don't discard these semi solids because they are tonal and they're really, really pretty. 13. Marilyn might need a red one. Um, I Marilyn's have one, twelve. Home a red one. So put Marilyn's name down Marilyn for down eleven. For eleven. And the eleven has some pinks in it. Eleven. It has some pinks where it goes from one color to the other. The name. We have ten. We have six. I'm surprised that one's not showing up very well on the phone. So I apologize for that one. It's really pretty in person. Number five, number four, number two, and number one. Hi, Joanne. Good to see you. All right, we're going to move to the Flicker and Flame. And, Joy, I did see your message. We will go back and go through everything we have at the very end. Flicker and Flame is Andrea Mowry's uh, latest hat. And it... The pattern has a sport weight or a worsted weight. And we decided to do the worsted weight. Hat A. And it is, each one of these kits should have enough yarn to do two hats. Okay, I haven't made the hat, but based on how much yardage they say you need, you should be able to get two hats out of each kit. How much is a kit? 
Oh, let me tell you. It's $32. The pattern is $7 on Ravelry. Hi, Lenore. Hi, Mary. Good to see you. Lots of people on tonight. It must be freezing cold. Um, so this is kit A. And I'm going to kind of show you that. And this is kit B. Kit B has shades of purples and grays and blues. Kit C has grays and yellows. I think that one's pretty. Everybody's like that one in this store. Kit D. I like this one. Kit E as in Edgar, as an elephant. Kit G as in G Wiz. This is really pretty. And I think that dark brown really is going to accentuate that. So you're going to use the topaz where the red is. Okay. A B, please. And then the last kit color we have is K. Is K. And I can't even think of, as in knitting. Hey, there you go. I couldn't even think of a K word. Hi, Pat. Good to see you. Just remind us if you say you need a pattern when we when you check out. Tech support's trying to catch that. D, please. Um, but, you know, sometimes we forget. So these are all the colors. We have mixed Barocco Topaz with um, Barocco Ultra Wool. They're both worsted weights. Um, topaz is a hand wash. Um, but how often do you wa really wash your hats, you know? C, please. So these are just really fun. B. And it's a fun way to check out a new yarn. And you will get in your pattern, you get both the sport weight and the worsted weight um, charts, patterns. So make sure you do the bold. Uh, D. But not a bad price at $32 when you can get two hats. You can hardly go to Walmart for two hats, especially a cool Andrea Maury hat like this. And it has a cool star on the top of it when you get done. It's really cool. Does it, show it doesn't. Yeah. I already tried that, but it doesn't. So these are our kits. Very, very cool. All right. We are going to go to what everybody is waiting for. And you guys are being so good. You're not putting it in ahead of time. All right. Stitch together color of the month. This is December. It finally arrived. This is Rebel Without a Claws. And it is really pretty. It's got so many fun little colors in there. These are $33. And it is an 80-20 blend. It is the smooth sock. Uh, did you get Linda with 1317 and 1308? Yeah, it shows thumbs up on ours, Linda. We gotcha. So this one is Rubble Without a Claws. This one is really pretty. It's stitched together, and we love these colors. They're really, really pretty in person, okay? We also have our gradients from Wonderland, and we have the gray one, and this is how it shows knit up, and two socks. She wants the stitch together. We have the gray one, and it comes with a little mushroom stitch marker. Very cute. Oh, it has like a little caterpillar on the top. How cute is that? And hi, Jean. Good to see you. And then we also have the red and blue kind of purpley one. And that one is really pretty. And it has um, a clover leaf. So she is looking for, we need two of these. Gray. We'll do that later. Gray. 
Hi, Janet. Good to see you. So I have the gray one, which is the November one. I also have the red, purple to blue. And this one is October. And it is, a lot of people weren't on that night. So we were having connectivity. So we wanted to make sure um, to October. That was a bad night for the internet, so I wanted to bring that one back um, and let you guys know about those, okay? Uh, Sam, are you looking for a gradient, a sock yarn? What are you looking for on that one, babe? The sweater. Oh, she, no, she's, Samson's looking for Stitch Together. It didn't show up on mine. Uh, Okay, it didn't show up on hers. It didn't show up on mine until you made the comment. So we have you for one of those. That's why it's always good for you guys to let us know as we go along. So we have stitched together. We have a few skeins of that left. And that one was really popular on Saturday. Um... And then we have the gray gradient, which is November. We have the red to purple to blue, and that one is October. And those are both fingering weight. They're um, 80 superwash merino, 20% nylon. And there is 412 yards in each one of those cakes. So, hi Beverly, good to see you. And our last sock that we have is the Knitted Wit. And this is one we picked for January. And this one is Winter Fang because it looks like winter, doesn't it? Uh, Mari wants to stitch together. We're not sure why they're not showing up. Yeah. I hit the basket. <laughs> yeah, we're not sure why yeah refresh because we don't want people to not oh marilyn caught two at two one time one. one knitted wit oh we're almost done with knitted wit it's pretty it's a beautiful color um yards in winter fang heather i missed you on my sneak peek the other day 420 it's 80 percent superwash merino 20 percent nylon and 420 yards. Woo! Um, hi, Sue. Good to see you. All right, so that is Winter Fang. Did Jody get a knitted wit? I didn't see her name. Uh, I didn't either, but she always I got She got it now. And Joanne wants a gray. No. Hang on. They're coming in fast. Joanne wanted a one of these. This is October, one of the red blues. You, is the red blue. Uh, shawl number five, two skeins. That's all we have. Winter Fang for Janet. And one from Michelle Kelly, and Knitted Wit is gone. So, I do potentially have some stitch together. And I do have some gray gradients, and I do have, sorry Heather, I think Winter Fang is all gone. Deidre wanted an October which is the red and blue. That one is gone. So I do have some November stitched together for Jody. We're going to hang out here for a minute while tech support gets caught up. Heather, you are the last one to get Winter Fang. Uh, Susan wanted to stitch together. I think she gets one. We'll check. It's red. Yep. Jody is stitched together. Susan is stitched together. I'm not sure if we have any stitch together left after that. I 
think they're both gone. So Susan got it? Yes. Okay. There's one left after that. Oh, there is one left after yeah. that. Okay, there's one stitch together, potentially left. If you did not get a thumbs up, let us know right now, and we'll go from there. And I'm going to walk over to the beginning of our Facebook Live. Do, 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 do. You know, you have to have walking music as you go along. All right. We are going to start in the beginning again real quick. In case I saw a few people came on late, we are doing the cowl, which is this beautiful cable cowl. You will need a cable needle unless you can do it without it. Um, and it is not a chart and it's very pretty. This is made out of Ella Ray Rustic Aran, which is a lamb's wool and silk blend. It's $32.50. You get two skeins. They're 208 yards a piece, so that means you have 416 yards to do whatever you'd like. 1,001. These are our colors. We have 1,000. We have 1,001. Uh, I think it already went out, Susan. Your order from Saturday. Yes, already it already shipped. Out. Sorry. We're very efficient here. 1,002. 1,003. It is called something I cannot say. Amaranth. 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 There we go. Amaranth. And... Uh, it is normally a pay for pattern and we are giving it to you for free. Hi Jody. Hi Pam. How are you? This one is 1002, 1003 is slightly lighter. 1005 is a tan color, very pretty. 1010 is a turquoise. 1012 is a pretty purple. And 1020 is my favorite green. It's wasabi green and it's beautiful. So those you would get two skeins and a pattern. Very nice. It's a worsted weight, worsted to Aaron. Very, very pretty. It's a nice soft yarn, but not too soft. It's going to have some structure to it. Okay. If you're going to do the Marmor uh, sweater, I'm showing you the back fake rib. 1010. Um, you have fake seams. This is all done in, um, uh, 1020. It's all done in garter stitch except for these fake seams and the I-cord edging. There's no buttons on this. And, um, we just love it. It's made out of blue sky fibers. And when Joyce calls you tomorrow, you guys can figure out what size and... For most of you, the price is going to be somewhere between $88 and $123. So um, everyone gets a free uh, blue, a piece of you tape measure for playing along with our knit along. This will be our knit along for this quarter. And what will happen is we will have a post in March and everybody will post what how much they have done. And anyone who posts will get entered in to win a gift. How fun is that? We'll draw a winner. So we have 1300, we have 1301, 1302, 1304, 1305, 1306, 1307, 1308, 1309, 1310, 1311. This one, these two just want to mate. They are just being chummy. 1312, 1313 is the dark chocolate. 1314 is deep velvet. Uh, 1315 is this beautiful red. 1316 is spun gold. 1317 is Midnight Sea, which is what our sample is done in. 
1306 for Brenda. Hey, Brenda, I didn't see you. 1304 for Mari. 1318 is Thermal Spring. It's one of the brand new colors. 1319 is Quartz Crystal. Did you get Brenda? You didn't give her a thumbs up. 13. Oh, okay. 1320. 1321. 1322. 1322 is really pretty. It's got all these heathery colors in it. Um, 1323. 1324. And 1326. Those are the colors. Also, the knit wrap pattern from the color. We don't have any. Oh, okay. The knit wrap. Can you pull? Just remind us. 1321 for Cheryl Lockhart. Got it. I think you guys are going to enjoy this sweater. It is a top down. There isn't any um, seaming to do. Um, and so we will do um, a little in person on, I think it's the 20, maybe it's the 30th because we don't have a Facebook Live that weekend, 31st, something like that. We'll have a little thing and maybe we'll even have Joyce give a little, these are helpful hints kind of thing. We're also ordering um, Blue Sky Bundles. And we have warm, we have cool, we have neutral. These are $37.50. We have holiday cheer. I only have a couple of these left and we won't be able to get those again until October. Holiday frost. So if you're trying to knit for the holiday, you might want to grab one of those. Bramble and fig is one of the brand new ones. That's why I have a piece of paper. And fire and ice. So these are going to be pretty. This is how they knit up. These two patterns are not available yet, but as soon as they are, I will let you guys know. Um, these bundle kits are $37.50. We're trying to get them before the prices go up and let you guys take advantage of that also. You're welcome, Brenda. And so if you do order a sweater and we don't have the color here in the store, we will hold your package if you would like. Um, if you have other items in it, we will hold your package until um, the yarn comes in and just send everything at once. If you'd like it to be sent beforehand, then um, we'll go from there. It is a dark burgundy. 1314 is a dark burgundy. It's a beautiful color. It's it's truly what it looks like on the table. Um, it is a dark burgundy. If I put 1310 next to it, so there are my three reds, and it is darker. It is a heathered. It has all kinds of stuff, fun stuff in it. But it's a pretty, pretty color. So Cheryl wanted a bramble and fig, and Janet wanted a frost. You got that one. So 1314 for Heather. Yeah, I think you're going to like that one. It's really, really pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, we're going to go back over here to Age of Brass and Steam. This little kerchief, it's 231 yards, and it's DK weight. And we do have a few colors left, but not many. We have... One, we have two. You could even do those two together. We have four. We have six. And this one's really hard to figure out what color it is. It's more green than it's showing up on the phone. There, that's almost what it is. Um, did you get Beth? 10, 11, I have 112 left. I have 13 and I have 14. Number six. Good job, Cheryl. I think you're going to like it. It's a really cool color. It's more teal. With the fishes, that's, my favorite. that's sleeping with the fishes. And I think that's really cool. And tech support likes that one. 12. 12 is gone now. That looks like a dumpster. Oh, it 
does look like a dumpster <laughs> fire. It does. Six. Yeah, if you like teal, six is your color. It is truly a teal. It's just really hard to get it. You know, my arms are really kind of short, so I apologize. And I think you guys are really missing the boat with color one. Because um, it's going to be really, really pretty, especially for spring. So... Those are our colors. You can always let us know in the message. Just if you could, if you're watching this as a replay, just let us know that it's a replay. Um, we're doing Flicker and Flame, and we're mixing Topaz from Barocco with Ultra Wool, also from Barocco. And I have Kit A. I have Kit B. I have Kit C. I have Kit D. I have Kit E. I have Kit G, and I have Kit K. I think these are beautiful, and I can't wait to make one myself because I think these are just, it's really cool. Um, the pattern goes from a baby up to an adult large. So, one. Thank you, Susan. I'm feeling much better that somebody is liking color one because I think it's a cool color. Um... You should be, on the Flicker and Flame, you should be able to get two hats out of a kit. Or maybe it's a hat and fingerless mitts. You know, make some stripey fingerless mitts or something with it. That'd be cute too. Um, but I think these are really cute. So, um, the Topaz does have a long repeat, so that's why we picked it. It's kind of like using a softer um, Noro. So, that is our scoop. For flicker and flame do we have any stitch together left we have one lonely little stitch together uh december color left we have that's 33 the flicker and flame was 32 um we have the november gradient which is this beautiful gray and purpley color. Very pretty. So they're both the same. It's just how they're wound. We do not have any of the knitted wit left. I'm going to tell you that. We did a good job picking colors. So that is our show for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you're looking for anything. We will start calling you tomorrow at 9.30. And so if you get a call from a 989 number, please answer. Um, and, oh, Ginny wants this stitch together. Thank you, Ginny. I always hate it when there's one lonely ball left. Um, and we will give, keep you updated on when we're going to do some uh, kind of in-person uh, updates on the um, Marmor sweater. I was reading comments and completely lost my train of thought. Yes, Sam, I can call you tonight. Serena, I will call you tonight also. Floops. Ginny, ask us when we call you. I do have some floops. I have the uh, black and white ones, and I do have the rainbow ones. So, um ask us when we are call you tomorrow and we're happy to put them in your order they are so much fun i am going to order more of the flocks which was the little stitch tool um but those take a while to come in so hi brenda because they're made when you order them and they're made by hand so i will call you tonight too brenda so that is our scoop have a wonderful night, and we will see you again, not next week, but the week after. And thanks, Deidre. And we will um, see you then with brand new kits and all that good fun stuff. Thanks. Have a great day.